Hello and welcome. What I'd like to do today is to try to demonstrate how to create a drag and drop question using one of the older versions of a VCE creator. I have an older version of it and let me go here. It is a Visual Cert Exam Suite 3, one of the older ones that you could actually buy and own at the time. So the first thing that we need is an image and what I've done is going to this is for CCNA I'm at 9 tut what what I need to do is to get this image and to do that I should be able to go into my Windows snipping tool do a new snip get the image and then put it into something like paint I can paste it in paint and then save it as a JPEG the it does need a JPG file to do that. Uh, I've already done that with this image. So what we want to do next is to open the designer for uh, the VCE uh, system. In this. And again, this is the old one. This is version three. So we'll do a new, a new test. And I really don't want that question, so I'm just going to delete that question. And yeah, and then we'll do a new question. And what we're going to do is a select and place, drag and drop. Okay, and then down here, instead of a single instance, we're going to go and select multiple instance. Okay, it says that the result will reset and will result in resetting the correct answer. We don't have a correct answer yet, so we should be okay. The next thing I want is a is an image, and this is the image that I had previously saved. So what we're going to do is go load it, and load it, and we're going to go into the system here, and I should have some somewhere. Some CCNA and the password drag and drop is what I named it. Open and we'll say OK. And now we have the image that we want to use with the drag and drop. The next thing we need to do is specify the source, the answer, and the target, the, pl the target place where we're actually going to put these things. So We'll pick source and what I have found and actually saw in a different video. If you hold down the shift key while you're dragging these things, it makes it quite a bit easier to do that. So we're going to designate and we have to click on source object each time. Each of these we're going to designate as a source object, the thing that we're going to drag. While I'm doing all of those, if I could find the pause key, I'll pause it. Okay, so I've finished with all the sources. You notice they're all got blue lines around them. I was not really all that consistent. If you want to make one go away, right click on it and delete it. And I want to delete all of this. So let's see if we can make this one a little better here. For the target place, we do the same thing, except when we get done here, we're going to have red lines around everything. And again, I'm going to pause while I draw these boxes, because there's no need you watching me draw boxes. Okay, we got our boxes drawn. You notice we have the blue ones for the answers and the red ones for what we're going to drag to them. The next thing we want to do is go down here to the bottom. We have the question. is where we put the image. Next, we're going to do the answer. So... What we're going to do is says encrypt all clear text passwords. That's going to be service password encryption. We're going to drag that over to that location. Protect access to the user mode prompt. How about line con zero password? Set privilege mode encrypted password. That would be the enable secret password, I almost missed that one, huh? Set password to allow Telnet connection, connections, line VTY04. We know that's going to be. And then set privilege mode clear password, that's the enable password. 
So once we've done that, we can go over here, preview it, do our select and, and paste, uh, login, let's see, encrypt clear text passwords, service password encryption, on down the line. So now we could save it. Uh, you know, I didn't put the question in. We could go back. We could go back to the question and up here we could say drag the correct password type to its function. And now we can save it. I'll save as uh, visual exam suite. We'll do this and we'll call it my CCNA demo. Okay, so when we do that, we can go back here and I think I got it in here, did I? No, I didn't either. Let me find it and I'll put it in here. Yeah, I did too. There it is. So we can go into the manager here and add. So that I find a CCNA demo and start it. And we'll do our select in place. And we encrypt all passwords with service password encryption. Protect access to the user mode was uh, line con zero, I believe. Set privilege mode, encrypted password. Uh, I was the enable secret. Set password to a telnet of B2Y04. And set privilege mode was just the enable password. Okay, and let's end the exam. And golly, we got it right. So with that, that's the way to make a drag and drop question using an older version of the VCE system. With that, I hope this has been useful and I would like to thank you for watching.